gentleman will, for his honor's sake, have one bout with you. He cannot by the duello avoid it, but he has promised me, as his gentleman and a soldier, he will not hurt you. Come on to it. Pray God he keep his oath. I'm sure you tis against my will. Put up your sword. If this young gentleman have done offense, I take fault on me. If you offend him, I for him defy you. You, sir, why? What are you? One, sir, that for his love dares yet do more than you have heard him brag to you he will. Nay, if you be an undertaker, I am for you. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Sir, and for that I promise you, I'll be as good as my word. He will bear you easily and reign well. Antonio, I arrest thee at the suit of Count Orsino. You do mistake me, sir. No, sir, no jot. I know your favor well, though now you have no sea cap on your head. Take him away. He knows I know him well. I must obey. This comes with seeking you. If there is no remedy, I shall answer it. What will you do, now my necessity? It makes me ask to you for my purse. It grieves me much more for what I cannot do for you than what baffles myself. You stand amazed, but be of comfort. Come away, sir. Give you some of that money. What money, sir? For the fair kindness you showed me here, and part being prompt by your present trouble, out of my lean and low ability, I'll lend you some. My, my having is not much. I'll make division with my present with you. Here, hold this. This is half my coffin. It's possible that my deserts to you lack persuasion. Do not tempt my misery, lest that it make you so unsound. A man, as to a brave, you with those kindnesses that I have done for you. I know of none. Hold it up, Dennis. Nor know I you by voice or any feature. I hate ingratitude more than any man, than lying, vainless, babbling, drunkenness, or any taint of vice whose strong corruption inhibits our frail well, heavens themselves. Come, sir. I pray you go. Let me speak a little. This youth that you see here, I snatched one half out of the jaws of death, relieved him with such sanctity of love. And to his image, with me thought, did promise most venerable worth, did I devotion. What's that to us? The time goes by. Away! Leave me on. Surprise, no! <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay, you got me. Okay, okay. Ah, ah! Methinks his words do from such a passion fly, then he believes himself. So do not I? Prove true, imagination, oh, prove true, that I, dear brother, be now ta'en for you. Come hither, knight, come hither. We'll whisper o'er a couplet or two of most sages saw. He named Sebastian, I, my brother, know, yet living in my glass, even such. In favor was my brother, and he went still in this fashion. Color, ornament, for him I imitate. Oh, if it prove tempests are kind and salt waves fresh in love. A very dishonest paltry boy, and more a coward than a hare. 
His dishonesty appears in leaving his friends here in necessity and denying him. And for his cowardship, ask Fabian. Coward. The most devout coward. Religious enemy. Do cuff him soundly, but never draw thy sword. Come, let's see the event. I dare lay any money. Twill be nothing yet. <laughs>